This is a colonoscopy in a 56-year-old woman who was referred for colonoscopy. Because this patient had an increased individual risk of colorectal cancer, colonoscopy was performed with indigo carmine spraying. During retraction of the endoscope through the ascending colon, you can see a small and reddish mucosal irregularity at the 5 o'clock position. Indeed, this small lesion is very easy to miss. This is the aspect of the flat lesion after indigocarmine staining. According to the Paris classification, the phenotype is classified as a type 2C lesion. That means a flat lesion with a depressed center. The converging colonic folds towards the lesion are also clearly visible in this position. You can use the probe for testing the consistency of the underlying mucosa. Firm consistency is highly suspicious of an advanced neoplasia. Next, we check the lifting sign to evaluate a potential resectability of the lesion. To this end, we perform submucosal saline injection, but we see that the depressed center does not lift upon injection. This phenomenon is a so-called negative lifting sign, which is highly suspicious for submucosal infiltration. Here we see another case of a flat colonic neoplasia. This larger but flat lesion is easily overlooked during withdrawal of the scope. Virtual chromoendoscopy with FICE highlights the irregular vessels in the lesion center and is highly indicative of an advanced neoplasia. Once again, there is a negative lifting sign. The depressed center shows an irregular pit pattern corresponding to a type 5 pit pattern of the Kudo classification. Based on the characteristics of the lesion, we predict an advanced neoplasia that cannot be resected endoscopically. Indeed, the histological workup of the surgical specimen confirmed a well-differentiated colon cancer with infiltration of the deeper submucosa.